today we are looking at the various examples the various keywords in these six um, main headings under the cognitive domain being aligned by uh, Mr. Bloom in 1956 and we are looking at the first um, heading that is knowledge and the keywords and some of the things that will show that a child has um, actually acquired knowledge knowledge is just um, is a learning process that a learner must go through and for you to get to the understanding that a child has actually acquired knowledge there are some things that will depict that a child has actually acquired knowledge and one is the recall of the information or the learned material if the child is able to recall if the child um, is able to tell what he has already learned in the previous lessons meaning that the child has acquired knowledge so example if the child um, you have taught the child some policies and a child is able to recite or is able to formulate um, these um, uh, learned knowledge it means that a child has acquired knowledge for example let's um, take it in the situation of a market if you have taught the child how to um, um, recollect prices of items it means that um, if a customer comes and the child is able to um, get all the prices of the item that you have taught the child or you have given to the child and the child is able to recollect them perfectly it means that learning has taken place or the child has acquired knowledge so if you teach the child to uh, safety rules and the child is able to recall these uh, safety rules it means that the child has actually learned something so some of the key words that will show that a child has acquired knowledge if the child is able to define able to describe able to uh, identify news label lists match uh, names outline recall recognize uh, reproduce select and state it simply means that the child has acquired knowledge then let's look at the second one that is comprehension and understanding um, if the child um, simply uh, understand whatever the or whatever the material has been taught or whatever material has been taught and the child is able to translate the child is able to interpret and and solve the problem it means that the child has understood whatever you have taught and some of the situation that you actually know that a child really understood the concept that you have taught or the aspect that you have taught if the child is able to rewrite the principle of writing tests or the child is able to explain and in his or her own ways the steps of performing a complex task it means that the child has actually understood whatever is being taught so some of the key words that will actually tell you that the child really um, understands whatever is being taught is one is if the child comprehends if the child is able to convert defend distinguished estimates explains extends generalize and give an example or infers or in interprets or paraphrases predicts rewrites um, summarizes 
and translates, it means that the child really understands um, the concept that you have taught or the learned material. So these are some of the key words under understanding or comprehension. Then let's look at the third one, that is application. Um, if the child is able to use the concept in a new situation or uh, in facing a difficult task, if the child is able to use the ideas in the classroom that you have taught the learner to solve that problem, it means that the child is able to apply the new, um, the new knowledge. So, example, if the child is able to use a manual to calculate employees' um, vacation time, or if the child is able to use a certain skills taught in the classroom to solve a problem in a new situation, it means that the child has really learned. And some of the key words that may determine that the child is um, using the new concept uh, using the learn concept in a new situation, uh, if the child is able to apply, it, um, able to change, able to compete, able to construct something uh, using the knowledge, able to demonstrate, able to discover, and able to manipulate, modify, operate, predict, and prepares, produces, relates, or shows, or solve, or use the new. Uh, learn material in a new situation, it means that the child is applying the knowledge. Then let's look at the um, the fourth one that is analyze some of the things that will show that the child has actually learned something in the classroom. So separate material or uh, concepts into um, components or parts so that organizational structure may be understood or if the child is able to break down the learning material into parts or into components so that he will get the actual understanding, it means that the child has actually learned. And it means that there is a clear understanding of the learned material. So some of the key words that it will depict that the child has actually Learn. If the child is able to analyze, able to break down, compare, uh, contrast, decontrast, um, differentiate, discriminate, distinguish, identify, illustrate, infer, outline, relate, uh, select, and separate, it means that the child understands the learned material. It means that the child is able to break down the material into components. Then let's look at the fifth one, um, that is um, synthesis. Synthesis, that is the fifth one. What will really tell you that the child really understand the learned material or able to um, put the parts that he has um, broken into um, together. So synthesis simply means build a structure or uh, a pattern from a diverse element or parts or... So let's um, look at um, still under the synthesis. If the child is able to put together um, the parts that he, he or she has analyzed or has broken down into and able to put them to form a whole, it means that the child is having the knowledge of synthesis. And some of the key words that you may, or some of, let's look at a situation that may determine that the child has actually um, gotten the understanding of synthesis. So if the child is able to um, write a company organization, uh, the company operations or processes uh, manual, it means that the child really have the knowledge of the synthesis. If the child is able to design a machine to perform a specific task or able to assemble um, components of a machine to form a whole, 
machine to function in a situation it means that a child has actually um, uh, learned something some of the key words that may um, signify the knowledge of synthesis are if the child is able to categorize uh, combine, compile, compose, create, um, device, design, um, explain, generate, modify, um, organize, plan, rearrange, reconstruct, relate, um, reorganize, um, revise, rewrite, or summarize, a tell, and write a piece of a novel or anything, or putting together um materials um, to form a whole it means that the child has actually learned something now let's look at the last one that is evaluation evaluation making value judgment of the learned material so evaluation simply means that making a, a judgment about a value of an idea or the learned material it means that the child has actually um, grabbed something from what is being taught. So in situation like if the child is able to select the most effective ways of solving a problem, it means that the child has made a value judgment, bringing all solutions together, then selecting the best one that will help solve the problem. It means that the child is making a judgment about whatever is being learned. Then let's look at um, the key words under evaluation. If the child is able to appraise, if the child compares, the child concludes, the child con contrasts, the child um, criticizes or make critics, defends, describes, discriminates, um, evaluates, explains, um, interprets, justifies, relates, summarizes, and support the learned material, it means that the child has actually um, grabbed something from whatever is being learned. So these are some of the things that we need to um, go through so that will help us um, in our promotion exams. There are so many to learn, but take these few things and go through them and I hope things will get well. Kindly subscribe if you are a new member. Please kindly like the tutorial.